Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I'm doing a data camp review. So I'm gonna take a look at the datacamp.com website for learning, you know, data-related uh, skills to become a data scientist, data analyst, and so on. And I'm gonna ask the question. I'm going to answer the question of, is it worth it compared to other sites where you can actually learn, you know, similar skills? Like you can go on Plural Site, you can go on LinkedIn Learning, you can go on other, you know, data science websites. But is DataCamp actually worth it? So DataCamp actually has uh, hundreds of courses, career tracks, skill tracks, and tons of projects that we're gonna get into. But the first thing I want to get into first. Um, very very quickly is the pricing so this is the pricing here and I'm gonna make sure to actually include a link in the description of this video so that you can actually uh, click on the link and I will maintain this link make sure that it has uh, you know whatever discounts I can find apply to it so click on the link if you want to find out whether or not there's a discount currently on data camp uh, so as far as the pricing goes, it's actually pretty simple for individuals. Uh, there's only, you know, if I take the learn here, the other things are not really like for learning. The learn here, you only have the premium plan and the rest is just for teams and enterprises. So it's going to be $39 a month and it's going to uh, give you access to everything. Uh, you can switch to yearly here, which comes down to $12.42 uh, per month, so it's a lot less expensive. So that's it for the pricing. Now, I want to talk about the features. Uh, so DataCamp is a video-based platform. You know, I sort of hesitate to say that because it's not just videos. Uh, it's uh, There are videos, but there's a lot of text as well. It's not primarily videos. but the My videos, name is Hugo, and I'll be your host. As you can see, it's pretty high quality. The production quality is really high. It's very, very clear, uh, but there's also a lot of text. Uh, you can actually see, you know, in the video courses, on the video classes, you can click here on the course outline button and see where you are in the course. Um, there's uh, beginner stuff here. As you can see, you know, this is uh, an introduction to Python course, but there's also a lot of intermediate content. Oh, and before I talk about the intermediate content, I should say that, um, you know, with the videos and the text, actually Data Camp weaves in a lot of, you know, exercises through, um, you know, code editors like this. It's very interactive. You can submit your answer, and I'm not logged in here on this page, but you can submit your answer, and it's going to check it for you. Uh, so as I said, there's actually a lot of intermediate content on Data Camp. So it's not just, you know, like there's beginner stuff like introduction to Python, but, you know, there's intermediate Python. Um, there's a lot of intermediate to even advanced stuff, I would say. Uh, the other thing as well uh, to note is that I found some courses like this one, for example, Intermediate SQL Server. Uh, I think this is this is really something that is not necessarily taught on you know other platforms uh, like LinkedIn Learning or Plural Site or uh, you know these kinds of things. Uh, there are some courses that are definitely very uh, sort of specific and very you know data uh, about like data science and programming. Uh, the other thing I want to mention as well is that uh, apart from the courses, you have what they call the career uh, tracks. So the career tracks are, you know, sets of courses um, where you can actually target sort of a, a specific uh, career. If you already know what you want to do, you know, data analyst, data scientist, and you have the different, you know, languages, you know, this is for Python, this is for R, and, and so on. Now, uh, apart from the career tracks, you also have skill tracks, and the skill tracks are different in the sense that you're not targeting a specific career, it's more about a general skill, uh, you know, R programming, AI fundamentals, so it's more general. In general, I would say if you're trying to get into uh, the tech industry, any kind of, you know, data-related job or uh, becoming a software engineer, then I would definitely go to the career tracks rather than the skill tracks. This is more for like, for example, for professionals like me, I want to, you know, brush up or learn a, a new skill, then, you know, this is fine. All right. Now I want to talk about the projects, which is where it's really where, uh, you know, data cam actually shines because there's so many projects here and they actually use real data. So I, I can, oh no, wait, I'm on the career track here. Excuse me. I'm going to 
I'm gonna go back to the project page and I actually started this project here introduction to data camp projects um, continue project and as you will see actually uh, the projects here they uh, use real data so not this one in particular this is just an introduction to data camp projects but the projects use real data from the real world like from uh, you know the internet and so um, uh, this is what a project typically looks like you have a uh, guided and unguided projects if I go back to the projects uh, page then you'll see that you know the projects it says here guided or you know unguided meaning that uh, the unguided projects they're not going to guide you obviously they're just going to show you a possible solution at the end but they're not going to like guide you through every single step the other thing to notice as well is that the, with the projects you have the possibility of doing them with different languages sometimes uh, so, you know sometimes like for this one for example you can see the little icon here R you can do this project but just with the R programming language this one is Python and so some projects you know it's just one programming language uh, one programming language but sometimes like this one here you can do the project with two programming languages R and Python so I'm gonna click on this project here and just to show you a little bit you know further what it looks like I'm gonna do the Python version and this is typically what it looks like you're gonna have a Jupyter uh, Jupyter notebook now if you don't know what a Jupyter notebook is it's like an interactive sort of uh, notebook with code that you can execute and you can have notes in it and it's really really interactive you can go in it yourself and you can execute it there's nothing to execute here because because I didn't write code but it's really great because you have instructions and explanations and then you have you know the code that you need to uh, fill out so it's very interactive it's very very complete and you know to be honest I don't think I have seen um, uh, such a good you know platform for uh, data science uh, data related projects it's definitely a good uh, platform so um, that, that's basically it now my verdict on data camp is that uh, you know is it worth it if you want to become a data scientist a data analyst machine learning engineer anything related to data is it worth it yes absolutely the courses are great the career tracks are great uh, the projects are really something that you're not going to find uh, anywhere else in terms of quantity in terms of quality it uses real data now if you want to become a software engineer I would say this is probably not going to be the site right I don't know why you would want to use uh, you know data camp for becoming a software engineer I mean it's a decent option but there are so many other options like Udacity for example I've uh, actually re reviewed it in the past but yeah so that's basically it the, the projects are unbeatable so that's it for this review guys uh, again if you want to become a software engineer I made a review on Udacity I'll link to that and uh, I'll see you in the next video